let's see the components present on this Arduino 2560 development board. If you see this carefully, you'll see this bigger chip is present here. This is our main microcontroller at Mega 2560 microcontroller. This is a 8-bit microcontroller. I'll explain in detail about this 8-bit microcontroller in later video. And it operates at 5 volt. So from where this microcontroller gets 5 volt, the port you see here, it can be connected to the adapter, AC to DC adapter of 12 volt, which is again converted to the 5 volt using voltage regulator. You can see here, this regulator is present here. So with the help of this regulator, we are finally getting this operating voltage of 5 volt from 12 volt of power supply. And another way also, when this development board is not connected with power supply of 12 volt and we connect directly from our host PCs. So in that case, it will collect 5 volt from this USB also and further it is fine tuned with the regulator and we are finally getting 5 volt of operating voltage. So via both way using this external power supply of 12 volt and by connecting USB, we are getting the operating voltage of 5 volt. That's how we power up our this development board. And you see here, these connectors are present over here out of which total we have 54 digital I.O. pins. So it has 54 general purpose input output pins and of which we can use 16 for analog inputs. We can take the analog input from these pins which is dedicated to analog inputs and from there we do analog to digital conversion in our microcontroller and this microcontroller supports up to 4 UARTs and by default it's UART 0 is connected with another microcontroller which is present here. I'll talk more about this microcontroller and with the help of this reset button, you can reset this microcontroller at any time. This is the hardware reset we perform with the help of this push button. And now let's understand how we are able to download our programs to this main microcontroller. Let's say we have written some program for blinking the LED. So how can we download our programs to this microcontroller? Your answer could be simply, we can connect USB cable from our host PCs and with the help of Arduino IDE, we can simply download the program to this microcontroller. But how exactly it's get downloaded? So for that, we are having another microcontroller present on this board. So this is our Atmega 16U2 or 8U2 is used where DFU bootloader is already loaded to this secondary microcontroller. So what is the role of this microcontroller? So whenever we try to upload the program from this USB, it basically program the main microcontroller with the help of this microcontroller where our DFU bootloader is already present. DFU stands for direct firmware update. So that's how we are able to program this. And here these two microcontrollers are connected over the UART and UART 0 of this microcontroller, main microcontroller is connected with this at mega 16U2 microcontroller. And there is another way we can program this microcontroller. So in that way, we are simply bypassing this bootloader. We don't need any bootloader at all. So with the help of of this ICSP in circuit serial programmer, we can directly connect our programmer to the connector present here and will be able to program this microcontroller very easily with this ICSP. That's how we can program this main microcontroller with the help of either this bootloader or in circuit serial programmer. 